This video lecture is for B.Sc. Third Semester Physics of Mysore University. Dear students, in this session, I will discuss about the calculation of impedance of series LCR circuit, discussion of frequency response, determination of resonant frequency, calculation of half power frequencies and bandwidth. explanation of q factor and its physical significance and also expression for q factor let us recap what we have learnt in the previous class we have learnt the construction of an ac circuit consisting inductance capacitance and resistance expression for current when ac is applied to lcr circuit and also we have discussed about damped driven oscillator following are the prerequisites for this session knowledge about response of ac circuit with series inductance capacitance and resistance knowledge about power in an ac circuit knowledge about resonant frequency now let us do the calculation of impedance of series lcr circuit you know what is a series lcr circuit a series lcr circuit means a circuit in which the components resistor inductor and a capacitor are connected in series and a sinusoidal alternating voltage is applied impedance of series lcr circuit can be defined as the ratio of the effective voltage to the effective current in the circuit that means impedance in a lcr circuit is the total opposition for the flow of current offered by the resistance inductance and capacitance in the circuit for this circuit we can give the expression v0 into e to the power j omega t is equal to r plus j omega l plus 1 by j omega c into i here for simplification we can put r is equal to z cos phi and for the term omega l minus 1 by omega c we can replace it by z sin phi let us call these equations 1 and 2 respectively squaring and adding these two equations we get an expression for the impedance that is z is equal to square root of r square plus omega l minus 1 by omega c whole square so this gives the impedance of series lcr circuit now we can discuss about the frequency response and determination of resonance frequency the phenomena in which natural frequency of the circuit becomes equal to applied frequency resulting in maximum current and minimum impedance is called resonance and such a circuit is called resonant circuit that means in the circuit the current will be maximum when the resistance offered by the circuit or the impedance offered by the circuit is minimum at that condition the circuit can be called as resonant circuit and the condition will be resonance condition in a series lcr circuit if the natural frequency of the circuit becomes equal to the applied frequency resulting in maximum current and minimum impedance the circuit is said to be a resonant circuit at the resonant frequency 
the impedance seen by the source is purely resistive. The current flowing in the circuit is in phase with the source voltage. This is because the resistance will be purely resistance. That means the impedance seen by the source is purely resistive because at resonance inductive reactance will be equal to the capacitive reactance. Hence, if you equate these two, inductive reactance is equal to capacitive reactance, we can write the expression as omega R L is equal to 1 by omega R C, where omega R is equal to 2 by F R, where F R is the resonant frequency. Hence, by simplifying this equation, we get an expression for the resonant frequency that is F R is equal to 1 by 2 pi into root L C. For example, in radio receivers, the resonant frequency of the circuit is tuned by changing C value of C to the frequency of the signal desired to be detected. Now, we shall move on to the calculation of half power frequencies and also we shall discuss about the bandwidth. The half power frequencies are the frequencies at which the power dissipation in LCR circuit drops to half of its resonance value. That means the half power frequencies are the frequencies at which the power in the circuit drops to half of its power at resonance. You can observe in the diagram here a maximum current I max is shown and also the frequencies FL and FH are also shown. FL is the lower frequency and FH is the upper frequency. The maximum current becomes 1 by root 2 times of its value at a resonance. That means the power is equal to P power is equal to square of the maximum current multiplied by the resistance that is P equals I max square into R. The power at lower or upper half frequency is P by 2 is equal to I max by root 2 whole square into R that becomes 1 by 2 into I max square into R. Therefore, the current at half power frequency is I max by root 2. Hence, at lower or upper half power frequencies, the current amplitude becomes 1 by root 2 times the current amplitude at resonance. Now, we can define the bandwidth. Bandwidth is the difference between the upper cutoff frequency and lower cutoff frequency. That is bandwidth is equal to FH minus FL. Bandwidth can also be given in terms of the quality factor. The quality factor will be discussed in the next slide. Hence bandwidth is the ratio of resonant frequency to the quality factor. For higher values of the quality factor, we have lower values of the bandwidth. If the bandwidth is less, we will have very sharp resonance. So that can be visualized from the picture shown here. If the bandwidth will be decreased, then we get a sharp resonance. Now, 
we can explain what is qualitative factor and its physical significance. Qualitative factor is defined as the ratio of reactance of either the inductance or capacitance at the resonant frequency to the total resistance of the circuit. Qualitative factor determines the degree of selectiveness of the circuit while tuning. This is because for larger values of qualitative factor, that is Q factor, the frequency response curve of the circuit is a steep narrow peak. For smaller values of Q factor, the frequency response curve is quite flat. So that you can observe in the figure. For low value of R, we get the average value of Q, quality factor, that is, you get a medium curve. For high value of R, we get a low value of the Q. And if R is equal to 0, then we get infinite value for Q. Hence, the sharpness of the peak is measured quantitatively and is called the quality factor. The quality factor is inversely proportional with the resistance R that is shown in the figure. Q factor determines the degree of selectiveness of the circuit while tuning as said earlier. So here is the expression for Q factor. Q factor is given by Q is equal to XL by R. That means Q factor is the ratio of the inductive reactance to the resistance in the circuit. That can be given by omega R L divided by R. In other words, the Q factor can also be given by the ratio of capacitive reactance to the resistance in the circuit that is equal to 1 by omega R into CR where as shown in the equation XL and XC are inductive reactance and capacitive reactance respectively. Q factor is also given by the ratio of resonance frequency to the bandwidth. 